Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the Global Stampin' Video Hop, and we are showcasing some of the new in colors, and I've got this cute little birthday card to share with you. Let's get started. For this card, we're going to start with the Rays of Light stamp set or stamp, it's not a set, it's just one background stamp. And I'm just going to set it here on my paper and ink it with Tahitian Tide, which is one of the new 2022-24 in colors from Stampin' Up. There are five new ones that just came out in May and going to leave that there and put my basic white layer over top and then I've got a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to rub all over you could do this with your stamparatus as well either works great for a background stamp because you can get even pressure all over let's take that off and then we're just going to dump and set this aside to dry for a moment. And then we're going to use the Sweet Songbirds uh, bundle next, and that's the photopolymer stamp set, and then the Sweet Songbirds builder punch. Let me pop this out of the way and bring in a piece of basic white and my Parakeet Party ink. That too is a new in color. And I'm just going to set this on here and give it a rub all the way around to make sure all of that solid surface picks up ink. Okay. And then I've got a scrap piece smaller uh, that I'm going to stamp on and add a couple of wings. Okay, and I do the smaller pieces when I'm not punching everything from the punch at the same time. I find that's a more efficient use of my cardstock. So we're going to slide this down in and oh, I need to cut a piece off the bottom. I thought I had stamped close enough to the edge that it didn't matter whether how I rotated my um, stamp. Okay, so there's my bird. And then let's dump those pieces. And then we're going to just slide this right in here at this top point. Give that a little dump. Okay, so there's my bird and wings. And then I've got a scrap piece of basic black that I'm going to use for a beak. Put that right there. And before we go any further, I'm going to take my putty end of my take your pick and pick this up and put a little dot of glue on the back. I use that extra finger to give me some stability, so kind of two-handed. Okay. And then I've got the eyes, and we're going to do that, the eyes in Starry Sky, another of the in colors.
Okay, and then we'll just set him aside for, oh, I don't know why I'm putting that away because we need the starry sky again. Let me move some of my scraps around over here a moment and we'll move on to the next bit. We're going to use the Alphabest bundle, which is this great new Alphabet stamp set. Um, and I love that we've got fill for the tags and then the stars and some of the um, like exclamation mark and your question mark, and then the best label punch that coordinates with it. Let me step that out of the way and bring in a piece of scrap paper and we're just going to stamp a bit of our sentiment and we're going to use one of the frame stamps this one's got the little bead around it and I'm just going to add that here and then a letter And get that a rub, not a mash. Okay, and where did I put my punch down? So this just slides in nicely. Give it a half squeeze to hold it and make sure that you're even. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and use that punch. I've already stamped and punched the rest of the sentiment and we're going to use this uh, frame piece and I'm going to eyeball here use this frame I should really turn this this way because it'll be easier to match up I think you could do this in your stamparatus I'm going not going to so I'm going to hold this so that it stays lined up across the top and the side with my grid paper. And I'm going to start in what I th think is about the center. And give that a rub. And we're just going to create a border across here. Don't mash. Okay. okay, and I'm going to leave my two ends or grab my scrap paper so that I can get my two ends because they're going to hang over. Yeah, I like that better than leaving them unstamped. Okay, anyway, so there's our border for the inside of the card. We are through with our stamping now. Let me take my ink out of the way and we'll start and put this together. Okay, so to start, we've got a Starry Sky card base and I'm going to adhere this piece with our border to the inside of our card and let's just check and make sure that we're leaving an even amount of space if you check two sides and either the top or the bottom your spacing will be even okay and then i've got this piece that we stamped with the rays of light and Tahitian Tide. Now, of course, you can find all of the products in my Stampin' Up! store, and there's a link for that in the description below the video. If you enjoy my videos, doing some of your shopping with me is a great way to say thank you. Okay, and then same thing we're going to check two sides and either the top or the bottom so i'm just a little far to the left 
as I go down. Now remember, if you don't press this firmly in place, it's easy enough to pick it up and move it like I did there. Next, we've got our cute little birdie here from Sweet Songbirds. And let's adhere wings. And the first one is going to go, we're going to let him fly just a little bit. And so a dot of glue on the second one. Changed my mind, as you see. I'm going to use a dimensional and just pick it up, one of the many dimensionals, and then we'll add dimensionals onto our bird. And a mini dimensional is perfect back here on the tail. And then I've got a cloud that I have punched with the cloud punch. And then I embossed it with the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And it gives it lovely texture, as you can see. And we're going to add this guy. I've just put my punch down over my um, cloud. We're just going to do two of the dimensionals back here. And let's bring this in just a little bit. Okay. And go ahead and put our bird down. Okay. And now it's time to adhere our sentiment. And first we're going to place that. So let's put our letters on here. to get them a little closer together. Okay. Just checking to see that they are straight. And then I've got my press and seal. You can use that, you can use a piece of washi tape. And I'm just going to whoop, try not to move them around, which I just did. So let's be a little more careful as I come in here. So we're going to line these back up. In fact, I'm going to move these off to the grid paper because now that I have seen my spacing, I can use my grid lines for this. Oops. Straighten that up and that way I'm making sure that they're all straight because I've touched the top of them to each of the grid lines. And this is just a little sticky. Okay. And then I want dimensionals on the backs of these. Feels like somebody has moved here. I'm going to turn this back over and make sure. Okay. Okay. 
And again, the grid lines are your friend, so do use them. And if you're unaware, grid paper is also available in my store. Oops, I just moved this one off of here. I'm sticking my fingers to the sticky. This is one of those steps that you do need to take your time. Oops, pulled the backing and not my, there we go. Okay, and then we're just going to flip the whole thing over. and place that up here and press. Oh, I'm so silly. Got to take the backing off. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Press those down and then just pull that back slowly. Take your time. It's all good. Okay. And then we'll do that again for the other sentiment pieces here. And we'll just speed this up as you watch since you've got the gist now. Okay, so let's stick those last couple down. Since we've only got a couple letters to line up, we're going to do that without the, the press and seal. Okay. And just lining those dots up next to each other. And then here's our last ones. If you're using the press and seal, do make sure that your letters are right side up before you um, turn them over. Make sure I'm grabbing the right letter here to spell our word. Okay, and again, we've used the Rays of Light and Sweet Songbirds and the Alphabest stamp set. And our in colors on this card are Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. And there's our cute little birthday card. Happy birdie to you. Thanks for stopping in today. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video. And of course, if you're in the United States, please do some of your shopping in my store and you can use the link below the video to do just that. Have a great day. Bye.